Hi everybody, I am J Leonard J, and today we're gonna look at all of these one control switching boxes. We're gonna go figure out which one is the right one for you. Well, it is One Control Wednesday. Uh, for all of you guys who don't know what this is, it's uh, the first Wednesday of every month I do a One Control theme video. Last month we did uh, the dual loop switching boxes. So this month we're going to just do the rest of them, the multiple ones, three loops and up. And look at this. If you go on their website, there is a huge selection of them. And it can get kind of confusing because they, they all do all these different things and it's hard to keep them, you know, organized. So what I wanted to do was just have a little video where I could present present these ones over here and help you figure out what's the best one that's going to work with you because each one has its own little strength and each one is really really unique in its own way so I'm going to grab my Fender Telecaster with String Joy Strings and Virgil Arlo pickups and I'm going to plug it into a Fender Deluxe amplifier. Let's grab a handful of pedals and see what we can do with these boxes. <laughs> Well, we have two loop boxes right over here. We have the Iguana tail loop and the Zenagama tail loop. Both of these completely true bypass and about as simple and straightforward as a looper can get. Uh, no weird presets, nothing to worry about. Pretty much loop on, it's on, loop off true bypass. Uh, both share similar features. They both have a tuner out which uh, mutes your signal and also have nice little 9 volt outlets which is perfect for powering all your pedals. The only difference between the two obviously is that this one has three and this one has five. So pick the one that you like, keep it simple and rock and roll. So to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how these loopers work, I uh, grabbed the Zenagama, I put into loop one the Sonic Blue Twanger, into loop two the Prussian Blue Reverb, and lastly into loop three the Tiger Lily Tremolo. So let's go hear what these things sound like. There's no presets, pretty much on and off. So here's my clean tone. <laughs> Let's turn on that sonic blue twanger over here. Now let's turn on the Prussian blue reverb with the twanger. And finally, the tremolo, all three at the same time. <laughs> Well, what we have hidden in this strangely beautiful array of cables and pedals over here is the Camellio Tail Loop Mach 2. This thing is fully programmable and is very, very versatile. Five loops in this thing. Uh, like the other ones, it has the mute tuner out and 9 volt outlets for your pedals. What makes this stand out is uh, a bunch of things actually. In line five, it's completely isolated. So you can use this, uh, say, with your effects loop in your amplifier. You could use it to change the channel in your amplifier or uh, uh, turn on the reverb or tremolo. Very, very useful little thing. Or you can just hook it together and just run it like a normal loop box. Uh, we have a buffer right over here and it's completely isolated so we could put it anywhere in the chain that we want. And last but not least, this thing is fully programmable in the fact that we have three different banks, five presets, so we could pretty much just have one pedal change an array of different uh, pedals as opposed to just the one on, one off that we were seeing in the non-programmable loop. So that's a lot of better talking. Let's figure out how I wired this thing up. Line one is the Cranberry Overdrive. Line two is the Purple Plexifier. Here we go. The C Turquoise Delay is in line three. Oh, 
so pretty. And in line five is my amp tremolo. <laughs> Funky, funky beans, but let's have fun. Let's work with the program. So I'm just gonna hold on to this bank and all of a sudden I am in preset mode. So let's say in this preset, I wanna have three pedals on. I want my cranberry, which is in line one. So I'm just gonna press this one over here. I want to have the delay, which is in line three. So I'm just gonna press this button over here. And then I want my tremolo, which is in line five. So I'm just gonna press this button over here. That is my program one. Uh, in my second preset, I wanna have just the purple plexifier. So I'm just gonna turn on line two. And last but not least, let's make program three my big lead sound. So I'm gonna press on line one, which is my cranberry, line two, which is my purple plexifier, and line Line three, which is my C turquoise delay. So just by pressing one button, I'm able to change a lot of pedals. Uh, let's press program one and hear the overdrive, the delay, and the tremolo. Lovely. I'm gonna press line two, and all of a sudden, I just have that purple plexifier. And last but not least, here's all three pedals on at the same time. On the other side of the coin from the Camellio is the Agamidai tail loop. Uh, this thing obviously is much smaller than this. There's also more loops. There's six loops in this thing and you have a nice visual display of what bank you are on. So it's uh, very, very easy to tell where you are as well as you have a lot more presets. You could actually go up to 100 on this one, whereas opposed to the Camellio, you can only get 15 presets. Uh, the drawbacks of this is uh, there is no isolated loop like you'll get on this one. Uh, there is no mute tuner out. This is just a loop box and there is no buffer. However, if presets are your priority and you're lacking a little bit of space, this might be exactly the thing you're looking for. <laughs> Well, last but not least, we have a fun one. This is the Salamandra tail loop, and it kind of approaches the whole thing a little bit differently than the rest of them. Uh, a really fun, versatile piece of equipment here. Uh, you have your Newton tuner out here, you have your bank switch, and you uh, have up to 16 presets with two presets per little lane section thing. So what you can do that makes this a little bit different is we have three loops and with each of these three loops, we could actually change the order of the loop. So uh, instead of just having everything go one after another, we could actually come up with different combinations of pedals in different orders. Very, very fascinating, especially when you're dealing with boosters and overdrives and modulations and delays. So today I'm gonna to make it really, really simple. We're just gonna use two different uh, pedals. Into loop one, I'm gonna put in a honeybee overdrive. And in loop two, I'm gonna have the Prussian blue reverb. So let's go show what we can do just by changing the order, how funky these things can be. So I'm just gonna pick a random preset uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we want to go for the first loop this program over here We want to go from one which is our honeybee overdrive into two Which is our Prussian blue reverb and then for the next one program two We're gonna go from the Prussian blue reverb, which is two into number one, which is our sweet Honey Overdrive, very funky. So what you'll notice that if we're going from the Honey Bee into the Prussian Blue, we just have that nice typical reverb sound where we have that beautiful overdrive and the reverb just kind of sitting in the back. <laughs> Now, 
when you actually go in the opposite direction and you go the reverb into the overdrive, what ends up happening is the overdrive distorts the reverb, makes the reverb so much bigger and adds this nice angry kind of like crunchy sound to it. Very funky. <laughs> Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, for all of you out there with some keen eyes, you will notice that I did skip one loop pedal, which is their crocodile tail. Well, I have a video on that one already, so check that one out. This pretty much, it pretty much does what all of these do, only uh, it has MIDI and, oh, it's crazy. It's awesome. You'll love it. And don't forget, there is a new One Control video on the first Wednesday of every month. Uh, my question for all you subscribers out there today is, uh, what pedals you have in your board and and uh, which one of these do you think would complement your pedal board setup the best? That being said, I'll see all of you guys soon. Take care and goodbye.